calling this lasagna is complete bullshit. So that's that pile of farfalian chicken is what the pioneer woman, one of the biggest food blogs out there would have you believe is something called skillet lasagna, which is a version of lasagna that you can make on a busy weeknight in about 30 minutes or less in a skillet without baking, which is full of crap. And let me explain why it's full of crap. But first, let's just define what we're talking about, okay? What is lasagna? Merriam-Webster says that lasagna is pasta in the form of broad, often ruffled ribbons. A baked dish consisting of layers of boiled lasagna and usually cheese, a seasoned sauce of tomatoes and meat or vegetables. So there's like a dozen of other definitions out there, but they all have the same four things in common. They've got the pasta, the layers, the baking method, and the meat or vegetables. Throughout history, there are hundreds of different versions of this dish documented, one as far back as the 14th century, and they all have those same four things in common. But screw historical context and actual definitions. I mean, food changes, am I right? And who wouldn't want lasagna on a weeknight? Besides, one of those recipes calls for more cinnamon and sugar than I would like put in a pie. And also, I think for pig intestine or whatever else you can think of, which isn't exactly what I'm craving when I'm craving lasagna. So let's talk a little bit about what we are craving when we're craving lasagna and see if the Pioneer Woman's recipe stacks up. What I think about is that coating of caramelized cheese, the nutty, bitter, burnt pasta edges, and the creamy bechamel or ricotta mixing deliciously with the hearty beef or pork ragu between layers of melt in your mouth noodles. Compared to this, which has no caramelization because it's not baked, it's got no layers, no amazing ragu because she calls for chicken breast rather than any kind of meat that you would normally make a ragu with, it's got no pockets of delicious cheese because you basically throw everything in a pan and stir it all around, and worst of all, it has no lasagna. It uses farfalle, which I'm pretty sure disqualifies it altogether from being lasagna, skillet, or otherwise. So when I was thinking about the concept for this video, it almost didn't happen because I was like, you can't fix that Pioneer Woman recipe. It's just, it's chicken cacciatore. It's not freaking lasagna. There's no fixing. You have to remake it. Okay, fine. So I was talking to my mom and I was like, there's no freaking way that you can make lasagna in a skillet in under 30 minutes. And she was like, you don't think your Nana could have come up with something that was damn near as good as what she normally makes if she tried hard enough? And I was like, yeah, you're right. Nana could have done it. And now I have to try. Thank you so much. So here we go. We're going to make lasagna in a skillet in under 30 minutes and it's gonna be freaking awesome, maybe. We'll find out, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Now, since we're aiming to get this all done in under 30 minutes, I'm going to cook in real time and speed it up with a timer, no pressure. First things first, about two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan and allow that to get good and hot. Now we're going in with half a pound of ground pork and half a pound of ground beef and let that get good and brown while mushing it into really tiny pieces before shoving it to the side to create a hot spot in the center of the pan into which we will add our onion and garlic. This sautés until soft and we give it a good mix to incorporate and cook off some of that liquid. Now we go in with two cups of jar marinara sauce. We'll add our Italian seasoning at this point and give that a good stir and wait while it all incorporates. Now in preparation for the layering process, we're going to remove about three quarters of the sauce from the pan, leaving a nice layer on the bottom. Take some of that pre-boiled and drained noodles and lay them any which way across the bottom of the pan. Spoon in about a quarter of your ricotta and a handful of shredded provolone and some cube mozzarella. Layer on another quarter of meat sauce. Wash, rinse, and repeat. One note about the pasta, cook it until it's tender. It won't have time to soak up any more liquid in the short amount of time that it's in the pan. Sprinkle the last of your provolone on top and make sure everything looks good to go. And look, we've done this in 19 minutes, just in time for another three minutes under a super hot broiler. All right, welcome back. I had originally intended to do this awesome reveal with this beautiful cut and this great cheese pull. And I actually did do that, but the camera was off. So moving on, let's talk about this lasagna. So coming out of the broiler, I think we have something that really resembles what we would expect when, when we're talking about lasagna. So let's dig into this and see where we're at. Well, that just sort of squishes apart pretty quickly. That does not bode well for the texture of the noodles. Hmm. All right, yeah. 
So are there layers? Houston, we have layers. And the cheese is indeed encapsulated between those layers. However, you know, because the pasta didn't have time to really bake in the oven for very long or cook in the pan very long, because we did this entire thing in about 30 minutes, I would say that the noodles are still too al dente. They don't really have the cohesion um, that you would expect from a good lasagna. And it is the case that some of the cheese isn't as melted as it should be. I think if I let this thing sit in the skillet and cook for another maybe four or five minutes, we would have achieved that nice melding of the noodles and the sauce and the, the sort of cheese and the cheese would have been a lot more melty. The herbs and, and things like that have cooked into the meat to make a fairly credible bolognese sauce. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. I thought this was gonna be bland. It isn't. It's really, really close to baked lasagna. If somebody gave me this in a restaurant, I mean, I'd be a little confused. I'd be like, why is it in a skillet? But I wouldn't be upset. If someone gave this to me for dinner at home, I'd be pleased as punch. I don't think we fixed her recipe, but I do think that we have figured out skillet lasagna and that it can be made totally, totally reasonably in about a half an hour. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this stupid food fixed. If you like the video, obviously like and subscribe because there's way more where this is coming from. If you want this particular recipe, you can get it on the absolutenom.com blog. And if you have any ideas or know of any really crappy recipes that you'd like to see fixed, either message me in the comments or hit me up on Instagram at Zesty Pavlova, and I will see you guys next time.